Hi, Cal from BHP UK. And on the dyno for development today, we've got a couple of S1000 XRs. These are the 2022 model Euro 5 Gen 2 models. The common complaint that people have is that the bike feels absolutely dead below 6,000 RPM. There's a lot of throttle hesitancy and the throttle just isn't smooth. This all comes down to the Euro 5 regulations. And if you look at the fueling here on the bike, up to 75% throttle, the bike's running at about 14.7 to one up to about 9,000 RPM. So anything below 9,000 RPM and below 75% throttle opening, the bike is pretty much running at Scotia Metric or Lambda 1. So we've got the, the base runs done. This bike is bone stock, it's got the cap fitted and it also has the standard BMW N can. It's making 153 brake horsepower at the back wheel and it's making 80 foot pounds of torque. After the map, this is just a stage one map, we've made a, a, a really good increase in the power. We're up to 163 brake horsepower and you can see from the, the run there's a good separation throughout the rev range. As far as torque's concerned, we've gained five foot pounds of extra torque and again, that's, that's evident as soon as you set off from 3000 RPM all the way through to red line, we've got a good separation. We've got about five foot pounds pretty much everywhere. The next stage in development is we're gonna put uh, an Akrapovich N can on and decap the bike. So this bike, the, the decatted version, we've gone up to 168 brake horsepower, which is again a 15 brake horsepower over the stock bike. We've gained another five horsepower over the, the stage one, but at 6,500 RPM, we've gained about 15 foot-pounds of extra torque at that point. That's really the difference between the, um, with the decat, it really does free up the bottom end of the, of the rev range. Of course, we've driven, ridden these bikes on the road and we've got the feedback from the customers. The general feedback is now the bike Really, we really have got rid of the problem below 6,000 RPM. The bike just pulls and pulls uh, right from the bottom end of the rev range and the throttle hesitancy has been totally eliminated. If you're new to the channel and you haven't subscribed, please do uh, hit the subscribe button. It really does help us out and it keeps you informed of any new content that we're creating.